Hello, it's Scott Manley here. So, uh, yeah, I pointed out that I am on holiday. I'm up in uh, on the California coast, out uh, looking over the Pacific right now. It's off in that direction. Next stop is Japan, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I've been trying to figure out what to do to kind of fill my channel, keep it busy. And, and I have been noticing there's been some discussion on the gratuitous re-entry video as to whether you actually need a heat shield to return from space. Now, if you remember, the Moose project was a basically designed as an emergency escape system from space stations, and the idea was the astronaut would have an inflatable heat shield with foam in it that would protect him from the rigors of re-entry. Now, a couple of people pointed out, hey, you don't need a re-entry heat shield. I mean, we've seen a guy jump from space on a balloon he was wearing a spacesuit. He was returning from space. Felix Baumgartner, or however you pronounce it, you know, he skydived and, you know, okay, he had to correct a pretty scary looking spin, but uh, beyond his um, amazing skydiving skills saved the day and he was a hero. But, um, so they used that as an argument to say, hey, you don't actually need a heat shield and I'm barking up the wrong tree and making things up. In fact, some people even seem to think that it was NASA that did that. It wasn't, it was Red Bull. Uh, anyway, see, these people, they are doing the right thing. They're taking scientific analysis, but they're conflating a couple of things. See, while Felix was practically in space as far as his body was concerned, he needed a spacesuit to protect him from the near vacuum you would get at his altitude. But he was 24 kilometers up. According to the FAI, space starts at about 100 kilometers, so that's four times further up. And, you know, you're not really in at orbital altitude until you're up around, you know, 200, 300 kilometers at least, right? That famous picture of Bruce McCandless in his spacesuit untethered on the MMU, that's probably like 300 kilometers up. I don't know for sure, and someone can correct me on this, but, you know, that's at least 10 times as high. So... An astronaut in orbit, simply in terms of gravitational potential energy, has 10 times as much, right? But an astronaut in orbit is also moving at orbital velocity. And orbital velocity is about 7 kilometers per second. If you do the mathematics, that's about 10 times their gravitational potential energy, right? So an astronaut in orbit has about 100 times the energy of an astronaut, of a Felix Baumgartner, basically. So, on the way back to Earth, you have to dissipate that energy. And the way, of course, you dissipate it is you fly through the atmosphere, and the atmosphere absorbs that energy, and in turn, it turns it, it turns it into heat, right? That's how energy, it tends to get dissipated over time. So, an astronaut in orbit has to get rid of 100 times as much energy and ends up getting well, a hundred times hotter. It's not strictly the same because they're actually flying through the volume of atmosphere. It's much longer, they're dissipating more. But the point is, returning from orbit is completely different from returning uh, from a balloon that is traveling you know, 24 kilometers up. So, yes, you probably still need a heat shield to return from space, although Maybe there's some crazy ballistic, you know, a wing style trajectory that you could do, but I don't see a guy in a spacesuit being able to parachute back from space safely. Anyway, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.